Released in April 2023, Mia Byrne's newest album, Rhinestone Tomboy, brings to light the reality of being a transgender lesbian woman in the country music industry and recounts the numerous natural disasters she has experienced throughout her life. Through her blend of country, Americana, and blues, Byrne paints a striking image of the immense pain and loss caused to communities throughout the United States by these disasters in order to bring awareness and inspire change. I was about 29. I started going to a queer church in New York. I am not a Christian, but I just started hanging out there mainly just because of the mu music in the community, and I just started becoming a really good queer ally. <laughs> And then one day, I'm standing outside of the Pride Parade, and I just had this very deep moment where it's like, hey, you're queer, you know you're queer. If you don't allow yourself to be out, you're putting yourself in your own closet. That really just started me down a journey of discovering who I was and what that meant, and I was very encouraged to just be myself for the first time in my life. And then I had a vocal hemorrhage and I couldn't speak or sing, and I had to have vocal surgery and was unknown whether I'd be able to speak or sing ever again in my life. Right around that time, I had all this time for quiet reflection. Something in my brain just went, you know you're trans. And I saw myself transitioned on stage at the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee, all dolled up, and I just burst into tears, and I was like, I know, okay. I get it, this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to transition and just be, be this person. I feel, feel that we as musicians, as artists, as writers, we have one foot in the divine because we have to, we're stepping in between. I feel that one of my jobs as, a, as an artist is to, is to call to action. It's about showing and illustrating a story. That's the artist's motivation. In the folk music tradition, I'm trying to tell stories of the folks who are traditionally denied voices, marginalized people, working people. I'm trying to tell the stories that are underneath the ground. For some reason or another, I have been in these times of great, great horror. <laughs> There's a song I sang yesterday called Smoke and Bones, which is about uh, the Paradise Fire, the, the campfire of 2018. Oh. The, the ash in the air and like the, the feeling of the air that you're breathing is like there are particles of death there as it was. These are some of the stories that I think are necessary to tell. I can only write what I know and what I see. We as musicians, as artists, as individual human beings, we are the revolution. This isn't a movie. We don't get any do-overs. This is real life and everything's at stake right now. And every time I walk down the street or get on the stage as, a, as an open, openly trans woman, as an openly queer woman, that is revolution. All human beings are given the gift of creation. It's what you do with that. That's the most important thing. Reporting for Scott Center News, I'm Alana Wacker.